Hi there and welcome to Easy Mind, Easy Life. So I thought we'd touched on something super important in the previous video and I wanted to keep talking about that because I find it super funny, right, that <laughs> there's so many people that go on about saying affirmations, right, all day, affirmations, affirmations. And in the past, I used to do the affirmations, right, and always wondered why the heck they never work, right? <laughs> and it's not until now that I realize, right, that it's not to do with the words that you say. Okay, so, yes, it has nothing to do with the words of saying, I am good enough, I am worthy of love, I am, I am, I am, you can be all day, I am, right? <laughs> I am, fill in the blanks, right, of what it is that you want to be. So, the truth is Right? It's like the gratitude thing. You know, they keep talking to you about, oh, being grateful and grateful shifts everything. And I found that for a while I was doing that. The only time the gratitude worked for me, I was um, reading the book called The Magic, which is about gratitude. And every day you write down something you're grateful for or a list of things that you're grateful for. But the truth was that when I was reading that book, was the first time I was able to fall pregnant in my life. And I was 42 years old at the time. And I was filled with so much love and gratitude because I had a life growing inside of me. It had nothing to do with the book. The book helped, it came at the perfect time. <laughs> but shortly after my daughter was born, all that gratitude went out the window, right? Because <laughs> it's hard being sleep deprived at night and a new baby and you don't know what to do and everyone's telling you something different right of how you're supposed to be doing things and it's actually quite you know anyway it was quite chaotic once she was born but my point is my gratitude was because in my heart I was full of love I was full of love for this beautiful being that was growing inside of me. I was full of love and gratitude that I was finally allowed to be a mother, you know, after years and years and years of praying, you know, for a child. So there were so many things that aligned at that time that I could be filled with gratitude, you know. But soon after she was born, and uh, the sleep deprivation came in and then everyone telling you what to do and how to do it and everyone was saying something different. Uh, yeah, it got quite crazy after that for a while and for a long time. And then through the years, I've tried this thing with the affirmations and then I realized if you're not in that space of love when you're saying them, it doesn't mean anything because it's not about the actual words that you say, it's about the vibration that you're in. Now, if you're in in your heart, if you're in a vibration that you're not good enough, you can say, I'm good enough all day long. You can say, they're just words. It doesn't, it doesn't mean anything. They're just words. And without that feeling of, yes, I am good enough just as I am, without having to do anything, without having to be anything, without, just as I am, just me, I am good enough. Until you can step into that vibration and look at yourself and really, really believe that you are good enough. You know, feel it in your heart, more than belief. It's like really feel it inside of you that you're good enough. You just are. Or you're worthy of love. You just are. And the truth is that that love that you're after is your own love. And no one teaches you that. The love that you look for so much out there is the love for yourself. You know, yourself is yearning for you to love it. That's basically, <laughs> that's the love you're chasing your whole life. And so what happens is you chase love in this person and you chase love in that person and you'll chase love in um, a career maybe, right? Your passion for this career that you have and you love that with all your heart. And you follow that with passion, with love. But all of these things are outside of you. And so all of these things are fleeting. 
You can have a partner that showers you with gifts, with love, with everything you could possibly ever want and still get to the end of the day and not feel loved. Eventually, in the beginning, it'll be like, oh, you know, I've got presents, I've got all this stuff, all this attention, all, you know, it's all for me. And it'll feel like, oh, yes, this is love, this is amazing, this is wonderful. And then months pass. And even if your partner keeps up with that showering of gifts and showing you how much he loves you all the time, or she loves you, all the time one day you will wake up and still feel that you're not loved and then you wait you wait a whole lifetime to have children and your children come and you think you know you've believed for so long that that's the love when your children love you that's the love that's the love i've been waiting for the love of my children they're going to love me because I'm their parent and they'll love me no matter what. And then your children come. And then one day you find you're arguing with your children and all of a sudden, I hate you. They'll say to you, I'm not loved anymore. Because we're taught to look for love outside of us from quite little from the beginning because the people around us don't know <laughs> that that's not the love we're looking for ah, all this time all of that runs out and you'll still wake up one day feeling like I'm not loved I don't feel loved and it's because it's not out there it's not from them it's not from anything that's outside of you that this love comes from and sometimes you know it can be just a beautiful moment sitting in the sun and listening to the birds and you'll just sit there and all you know all of a sudden it just hits you you know the love that you've been looking for and it's just it's really an amazing feeling you know when you wake up to that but that's the love, that's the love I've been looking for my whole life. It's this feeling inside of my heart. And it's this love for me, for myself, because my whole life I've been taught, you know, that I'm not good enough, that I'm not worthy, that I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. So a few of us have been raised to see what we are. You are, you are, you are. <laughs> We're always compared to others. You know, and always made to feel like we're not. We don't measure up. No matter which way we look at it, we never measure up. But uh, the day you realise that that love that you're looking for is not out there. It's not in another person. It's not in your parents. And that's why sometimes our parents go all out of their way <laughs> to show us how much they don't love us because the love we're looking for is not in them. Our children sometimes challenge us so much. Again, because what we're looking for is not inside of them. The love we are looking for is not inside of them. Our partners, how many of you have been through a gazillion partners and it never seems to work out? Because the love you are looking for <laughs> is not inside of them <laughs> and a lot of us turn to animals we have cats we have dogs we have our beautiful pets and we adore them because we feel love from them they love us unconditionally especially dogs they love you no matter what they love you whether you yell at them they love you whether you smother them with kisses they love you whether you keep them outside they love you whether you walk them whether you don't they don't care they just love you they know what unconditional love is that's what they that's what they're here for so and we look for the love that we're yearning for in them and a lot of us that's why we love our dogs and cats so much because we feel loved by them because they see us they see the real you not the you 
that has makeup on, not the you that's all dressed up, not the you that has a job, not the you that is a mother, not the you that is a father, not the you that is a doctor, a lawyer, a janitor, a... not the you that has a title of any kind. A dog doesn't care. A cat doesn't care. They don't see anything, any of that. That means nothing to them. They, they have no idea what all of that is. They don't care what car you drive. They don't care. It doesn't mean anything to them. They don't care what brand of clothes you wear, what shoes you have on. They don't care. Because they see the real you. And that's why so many people are in love with cats and dogs. Because for a moment, you feel that love, even if it's just for a small moment. Yes, you can hear mine. <laughs> you feel that love that you're yearning for. But in every moment, you have the opportunity to stop. And instead of getting angry or getting sad about a situation, you can stop instead of being afraid. You can sit with yourself for a moment and start to really, really start to feel that love for yourself. The one that doesn't care what house you live in, the one that doesn't care what title you have. The kind of love that just loves you no matter what. That love that's here for you. It was here for you the day you were born. And it'll be here for you when you take your last breath. That love will still be there. It's up to you to tap into that. All right, my darlings. I love you guys. Remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the messages. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.